hey y'all welcome back to another video tonight is definitely an impromptu move because i planned when i woke up this morning was to stay home and get some things done however there were some errands that i had to leave the house to do and as much as i did not want to leave the house i was like you know what get it done plus i'm gonna share a little bit later on this evening when i get back home but there was a slight little motivation that you know put some fire up my behind um and some communications that i received uh via work and i was like you know what you can do it all you can get this done you can get that done and anytime i feel like you know i'm being underestimated guess what <laughs> i gotta let them know so let's get this evening started Some sorts. We'll see. My first stop is down, and now I am headed to the supermarket. I'm going to recycle some of the bottles if it's not too late, and then I'm going to purchase some veggies and stuff because we are definitely low on vegetables uh, in the house. All right, so these are bottles that I've had in my trunk for like, I don't even want to say the last couple of weeks. So I'm going to sit here and I'm going to recycle. This is plastics. So. Yeah, see that? Oh, it's bright. Five cents. Do another bottle. Five cents. So let me get this done. in Harlem right now if you know anything about me I actually hate coming outside my house or kind of walking back and forth outside my house in the evening time because we do have deer um, however Woody received some really good news today and as a result of that his friends will be taking him out so he's not going to probably get home 
till very late, you know, maybe 12, 1 or 2. And I cannot have Harlan wait that long. So in moments like these, I just have to suck it up and hurry up and let Harlem come out for a walk. This is Harlem, see him here. I just have to suck it up and try to walk him really quickly and then head back in the house. Uh, right now, I don't see any deer out, but some time they're near the garbage, the dumpster, or they're in the field um, across from my house. So this is one of those moments where, you know, you just gotta suck it up and do what you gotta do. Uh-uh, we're not going up there. As I can see, like, this is what, it's nothing but a bunch of trees and stuff out here. Come back. So, a lot of times the deer, they're over there. So you can just, just to give you an idea of why I am very hesitant to walk out here at nighttime. Um, because look at this road. It's dark, and this whole one line of the street is nothing but trees. Come on, Harlem. Come on. All right, we made it back in. Nothing came to hurt us and harm us. <laughs> Harlem went to the bathroom, which was good. And so now, um, let me see what time is it. I think it's 7 30. I do want to make something to eat. Um, some vegetables, and I'll probably do a tilapia. It's only for myself, so that shouldn't take long. Whew. And um, I'm going to clean up really quick in here. I'm telling you, the kitchen, clean up the kitchen. It just, it never, um, it's never over. And I don't have a big kitchen, but for some reason, dishes pile who knows so that's one of the things i'm going to do just clean up some of this stuff clean up that stuff over there clean up this stuff make harlem's food make him something to eat and then i am going to why do you have my slipper look at this look at this boy can you see that's my slipper that he has in his mouth anyway I'm going to uh, make something to eat. I do got some things to do. Um, so let me just get to it. The more I think about it, it's just easier for me just to get to it.
Get out the way. Who got a watch? Who got the time? I'm racing the clock. Even in my feelings, grind don't stop. Got big chains, want big old rocks. I got plans. Who got talk? I just real shit, but it's really cold house. I'm trying to get these ends. Building buyers with my friends. I'm about handling my business. No time for stress over bullshit. You think success is an option? I'm trying to get this shit popping like, woo. Big moves. My rules. Y'all heavy on the tweeting. I'll disappear a whole season like, woo. Who said they looking for me? I'ma make you wait for it. Spend a few racks on a shopping spree. Yeah, I'ma make you pay for it. Tell them give it to me when I want it, please. Wait tight on I leg for it. Count down for me. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. Eat that, I'ma make you wait for it. On my time. Yeah, I'ma make you pay for it. On my time. My time, my time. So you can keep the sauce like this, or you can uh, blend it, which is what I'm gonna do. So I am checking back in. It is the next day. I did kind of finish up the task from yesterday, but I hinted at something uh, right before I went into Marshalls and I wanted to elaborate a little bit on that um, in closing out this vlog. So I hinted at the idea that I received communication where the underlying tone um, was, uh, how can I put it? Uh, was giving me directives that I am clearly aware of. Now, in my job, I am a supervisor. I am the first level supervisor. There are actually three levels of supervisorship. Um, so you have a staff level, you have a senior level, then you have a supervisor, senior supervisor, then you have like principal supervisor before you have manager. And in this communication that I received, um, let's put it like this. For the most part, I am a trusted uh, source of knowledge for my division. 
Um, I've been there for some time. I'm not the, uh, I haven't been there the longest, but I have advanced quickly. And most people know that um, for whatever I've learned or whatever I can share, I'm willing to do it. I'm willing to help you out. Um, so I'm a trusted source. So for the most part, the people who know me kind of know that I know what I'm doing, right? However, in uh, for my department, there's a lot of transitioning happening right now. And as a result of the transition, there are people um, that are chiming in. There are people who are um, pretty much don't know much of me and they are communicating to me in such a way where as if uh, they're teaching me something um, <laughs> that I don't already know. And the reason why I said that lit a fire under me um, is because the one thing that I realized is no matter how much you know, no matter how good you do your job, right? It's only as valuable um, as the people who know you and know what you can do. It's only as valuable um, as they perceive it. So there's a situation in the Bible, it's on the tip of my tongue, but it has to do with the story of uh, Joseph and the children of Israel. And this has to do with the transition from, I wanna say it's from Genesis to Exodus, don't quote me. But what happens is, uh, we know the story of Joseph, he has the dreams, he gets sold off by his brothers, he um, he works in Potiphar's house, and if Potiphar trusts him so much so that he makes him head, he literally kind of becomes governor over certain operations, and he's a trusted source, right? Because the person who is over him, Potiphar, knows what he can bring and what he offers, right? So what happens is when Joseph is favored in this land, what happens? His brothers and his father come, and then now you have the children of Israel kind of in a whole nother area, in a whole nother region. And during that transition, I believe it's from Genesis to Exodus, it says how um, Potiphar dies, right? Potiphar dies. No, no, I'm sorry, not Potiphar. Is it Potiphar? I want to say Potiphar dies and Joseph dies. But long story short, what it pretty much says is that after Joseph passed away, you have a new king that comes who knows nothing about what Joseph does. He knows nothing about the value that Joseph brought. And in essence, what ends up happening is because the children of Israel are multiplying like crazy, this new king is now intimidated. And what does he do? He now puts these people under captivity. So imagine that these people were once equals, walking around the children of Israel equals. And now because someone new comes in, that comes into reign, doesn't know what the predecessor has done. And just off of mere thoughts, you know, now they're now subject to a whole nother lifestyle. And I'm reminded of that even now. I got comfortable. I'm not going to lie. I got comfortable. But what I realized, again, when someone is speaking to me in a manner where others who were in their position would come and ask me for guidance on, and now you are acting, acting as if you're giving me guidance, not that I can, and let me... Let me let me correct that because I don't want to come off um, as if I lack humility. I do. I, I have humility, you know, but I know what I know and I know the tone in which I was spoken to. And that's why I was saying yesterday when I got that email, I said, hmm, I'm, I'm reading in between the lines here and it's OK. I don't mind having to prove myself all over again because I am who I am. And the gifts and the talents that I have, they can't be taken from me. They're God-given. So that lit a fire. I said, you know what? The same way you've got to tackle some new things on the job, it's the same way that sometimes in your personal life, you can't let little odds and ends slack. You got to just tackle it. You got to just confront it head on. Do I want to cook? Do I want to clean? Do I want to spend all day doing laundry? Do I want to, you know, have to like... 
I don't even know, some of the mediocre, like some of the tasks you're like, oh, that could wait, that could wait, that could wait. And before you know it, it's like three, six, nine months and you haven't done, maybe it's cleaning, you know, your walls or whatever little mediocre, mediocre task. I realized that, you know what? Not that someone in my house is doubting me, but I'm gonna, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna make the most of what I got. And that was really, you know, that was the just. So I did not, you know, I did not want to leave that without fully addressing what I meant when I said what I said yesterday about receiving communication that just kind of the tone just did not feel good. So with all that said, I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. Until next video, y'all stay tuned. Thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you so much for watching. And comment below if you agree what I'm saying. Like, comment below if you agree. Like, you can't get comfortable because you never know when those above you are changing. And different leadership comes in that doesn't know what you bring to the table. It's like you got to prove yourself all over again. And it's okay. Because who you are and what you bring to the table is what is who you are and what you bring to the table. And no one else can bring those same gifts, talents, abilities. No one else can be you.